Okay, let's create a category and then a subcategory in EasyPos. Simply it would be something like burgers is the main category. You will have all the burgers you can have in here. And then as a subcategory of burgers, you have burger options where uh, it sits all the additions and removals and you know gluten-free options, bun types and things like that. So to, to, to create one of those categories and a subcategory, in my example I'm going to use a coffee category and then add a coffee options category so that we can put all the, the two sugars, three sugars, uh, decaf, uh, all the, the flavorings and things like that um, as coffee options. So to create one you go into the main menu and then stock and then categories. Here you can see the existing um, categories that you have in, in our sample menu and to give you elaborate a little bit about the, the contents of a category um, is first is the name and then you can select a parent category for a for the existing category that you have selected here which makes the the category you have here as the subcategory of this parent category so to repeat that if you select a category from here this particular category that you have just created will become a subcategory of this category which means that the category that you select here is the parent category. Order number is the, the number that you can rearrange these categories in your menu. It sits in an ascending order so if you have um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Likewise, in your uh, for your categories, it'll sit sit accordingly. And if you have same number duplicate numbers, so maybe uh, three uh, number twos, uh, those through th those three items will sit alphabetically. To create one, we use this button, which is the plus sign. Not these two. This particular button. When you press this, your fields will be empty and I'm going to create the coffee coffee category one more e and then I'm going to put it to uh, as the as the sixth item in the menu and that's the, the main item of my category and I'm, I'm not going to choose any any parent category for coffees leave it at that and then press save then I said I'm going to create a coffee options as well so let's go in and add new go in here coffee options and now I'm going to put it in or select coffee options parent category as coffee really don't need to put a number here because that would be the only uh, a category you will have underneath coffee but uh, well if you have multiple categories multiple subcategories in a particular category you can again rearrange them by using a, a number here for argument's sake I'm going to just put one there and I'm going to save Let's go back into the main menu and find out um, how we have just created them. Select a table and here at the very bottom you will see the coffee and then inside of it you will see the coffee options return back. Um, so this is how we can create a category and then a, a subcategory within that category and now these two categories are ready to um, host or, or have products in them and in my next video I will explain how you can um, add a new uh, product and how we can place the product in the appropriate category uh, so that you know we can we can elaborate or expand our menu um, accordingly <clears throat> for you to delete a category um, very uh, straightforward obviously you will have to take off all the the products that you have in a certain category basically you'll be moving the, the existing products into a different category uh, make the category empty once you empty the category you can go into stock categories and in my example I'm going to delete the coffee options uh, subcategory you have the delete button here again these two are not the buttons delete button and then press save that will delete the the category from the menu you go into sales and now you can only see the the main category called coffee and the, the pair uh, subcategory called coffee options are deleted it is deleted now well I will explain the two two buttons we had over there now imagine you have a product that you want to disable all the products inside that category rather than going into products and individually disabling each and every product you can go in here 
and then remove all the products in a particular category I will in my burgers category I'm gonna press remove and then save what it does is if you go into the sales and then select burgers you won't have any items in the sales um, screen of course you'll have the burger options now this is basically for uh, categories that you wanted to seasonally disable um, or you know permanently uh, do alterations to to products if you want to bring them all the products back into burgers you simply go into the same categories burgers and I'm gonna add what it does is enable all the products inside or within the category burgers so that when you go back in you can see burgers are back simple as that